Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing an in-depth guide of going from the beginning steps of film and converting that into an actual developed roll of film and converting that into digital and being able to upload it online. There's only a few simple things you're going to need for this entire process and it can be done very quickly with the right tools and experience. All of these tools here are the bare minimum that you're going to need. You'll need of course a film camera, some scissors, a bottle opener to open up our film canister, some kind of measuring cup. You're also going to need a tank and a reel so we can put our film in here and develop it in the light. And then we're also going to need some developer and some fixer. You can buy these online for pretty cheap. Links to everything right here will be in the description and they should not run up the costs too high. So one of the first steps of course is to take your film camera and take some pictures. So I'm just going to take a picture of something random in here and that will be the picture we'll use for this entire process. I see a picture of a lens over here I could take. And now we just have to fill the rest of the camera up and we're all going to be all ready to develop. Alright, so once you have your film out of your camera, the next step you're going to be doing is in the pitch black. So I obviously can't show you it in the light, otherwise I'll ruin my film. So what you're going to do in the pitch black, you're going to use the bottle opener to break open your film. And this is of course in pitch black, remember. So it's going to be difficult, make sure you know where all of your setup is. And then, there's going to be a little nib on the side. It's basically like the film, but it's just a little tiny part. You should have seen this when you put your film in the camera. You just want to snip that off as straight as you can in the dark. And then you're going to want to take your reel, most of them are exactly the same. You're going to want to find this right here, this little extra space. It basically is the start of the wrap. And you want to make sure it's facing to the left. And then you're going to take your newly cut film in the dark and inside of it, keeping the same orientation with this facing this way, you're going to see there are these little things. You're going to see these little sprockets. That's where we're going to place our film inside of, carefully holding our film on the edges and then bending it just a little bit. We're going to bring it in here. It can be a difficult task, especially in the dark. And we're going to make sure these, these sprockets, the same ones on each side, in this case the second sprocket, make sure they line up well and perfectly. And then we're going to hold just a tight little tug and also touch the reel. And we're going to slowly use our two fingers here and just wrap it. If you hear any loud crunching, that means you're doing it wrong. You need to be a little bit softer on that with the hands. It should just go in on its own and nice and perfect. And yours, of course, will go all the way to the top. But that's how you load your film. And then what you want to do, you grab your tank, put your reel inside, make sure all of this is put together properly, close it up, make sure it's tight, and now we can turn the lights on. So after you've completed that process, it's now in here. I've actually gone ahead and done it myself with the actual film. This is what the bodies basically look like of the film canisters. I, sometimes I do it different every time. This time I actually only took off one end. And this is the little nib that you should cut off as well. So before we start putting any chemicals into this, we need to look up how long we need to develop this specific film. So we're going to go to digitaltruth.com and we can look up anything, basically any chemical, any developer by going to the massive dev chart. We can select our film, in this case I used Kodak T-Max 400 and D76 developer. I can see over here we have 35mm which is what I'm using. The ISO is 400, so I'm going to be doing it 9.5 seconds and this is with a 1 to 1 dilution which means we'll put in half water or four ounces of water and four ounces of developer. It's your choice whether you dilute or not, but realize you could be wasting more chemicals and it can have different effects. So now let's go ahead and develop our film. So the first thing you wanna do is fill your measuring cup up to a cup or eight ounces of water, and we're gonna give it a pre-soak. So we're gonna lift off the cap, tilt it on its side and pour all of the water in.
And then we'll put the cap back on. I'm going to grab a clock. And for the first 30 seconds of this process, which is three minutes, we're going to agitate it or shake it back and forth. And then every 30 seconds after that, we'll do it for five seconds. So the first and last 30 seconds are for shaking, basically. And then again, every 30 seconds, five seconds of agitation, and then rest for another 25. And just do that for three minutes. Make sure you tap it on the counter, make sure it gets all the bubbles out. And after three minutes, we'll go ahead and pour it out. And now it's time for some developer. We'll fill it up halfway to four ounces or half a cup with water. And then to dilute it one to one, we'll fill it up to the cup mark with our developer. Then again, we'll pour it in. And this time, as we read, we need nine and a half minutes. So the first 30 seconds is all agitation. And after you've dumped it out and done it all of your nine and a half minutes or however long, we're gonna do another one or two, maybe three washes with just water. Again, for three minutes. And then we're gonna dump it out and do it again. This is to get rid of all of the developer. And then we're going to move on to fixer. This is a process you can do as long as you want. We'll fill it up to a cup, again, eight ounces with fixer and we'll pour it in and basically we're going to do this for five to ten minutes at this point we can take it out of the capsule and bring it into light we can see pictures now if you've done it correctly and now we're going to put it under a running water bath submerged underwater for about 20 minutes after that i like to hang it up on something like a curtain and just let it sit there for about half an hour to an hour to dry off. After they're done drying off, I like to cut them into sections of five. Alright, so now if we take a look at them up through the light, the light behind it, we can actually kind of see what our image is. It's going to be inverted of course, so it's not going to look completely right, but the next step is to get our digital camera out, and on the computer, pull up a pure white screen. And then what we'll be doing is we'll be holding them up to the white screen, not on it, but up to it, and I'm just going to take a picture on manual with the most normal settings possible, manual ISO, manual shutter speed and everything. That way I can actually control what the image looks like. All right, so I've inserted my image into my photo editor and same steps usually apply with this other ones. And I'm just gonna do it for Lightroom in this case. The first step is to crop our photo. So we will get diminished resolution, but it's basically free to do all of this. And click on done. And then we're going to convert it to black and white. And now we need to invert the colors. If you have a tone curve like this, just invert it by swapping these to opposite sides. And now you can see we have a very bright image. So we're going to go ahead and increase the exposure. We have to do this in reverse because we did invert it. And I'll add some contrast. Boost the highlights a little bit. And now we've successfully converted our film into a digital image. Now you can export this and share it, you can edit it. You can see we even captured the nice grain from the 400 ISO film. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you subscribe for more great tutorials like this. If you liked the video, make sure you give it the thumbs up. And of course, if you have any questions or comments, put them below in the comment section. And we'll see you next time.